Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be doing something we've never done before. This is a dedicated video to fix things that are broken basically with Minecraft mods. Different errors you can be getting with mods and all of that stuff. How to troubleshoot them, figure out the solution, and get back to playing Minecraft. This is going to be most of the common issues that you'll have with Minecraft mods as found by our comment section. We've helped millions, literally, of people get Minecraft mods set up. So we have quite a few different issues that people will commonly experience and this video is to hear the answer to those questions. There are hundreds of other small issues that unfortunately not enough people have to make it into this video or simply because we don't know the fix to them, right? Some of these smaller issues, all the big issues have solutions, but if only one or two or three people have had an issue, sometimes there is no solution and we can't replicate it, so we can't help fix it. If we can't replicate it, we can't help fix it, or if enough people can't replicate it, it can't be fixed. Some of the stuff here, we've not been able to replicate, but we've been able to help people who have it fix it. So that's kind of how that works. Unfortunately, not every issue is going to be solved, but I would say 90% of the issues you could have with Minecraft mods is fixed in this video. We are also going to be mostly focusing on Forge here. There are mods out there for fabric and things like that, but we're going to be focusing 90% of our attention on Forge here today. Actually, I say 90%, really all of our attention on Forge mods because most mods are Forge. Because of that, that's where we're going to focus most of our attention. That's where we think we can get the most value. And some of this stuff will work with other mod loaders or mods that don't require loaders as well, but it is something that we need to mention here that this is for specifically Forge mods. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want the easiest way to start a mod in Minecraft server or a Minecraft server in general, go check out Apex, the first link down below. They have one-click installation for so many mod packs. It's truly incredible. We love and trust Apex so much that we use them for our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com, and they are the best way to start a modded server, a spigot server, a paper server, or just a vanilla Minecraft server for you, your friends, or for anyone who you want to play on your server. You can check out Apex, the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now, let's not waste any more time here. Our first issue is one that's pretty simple, and it's that Forge won't open. Well, our first thing that we would recommend doing for that is making sure you're using this tutorial. This tutorial is linked in the description down below, and it is our Forge tutorial for actually how to install Forge. We are always keeping this up to date with the newest version, and it's important you use our tutorial because, like I said, we've helped millions of people. As you can see, 1.3 million people have landed on our website. We've helped way more than that before this website even existed. So it is absolutely imperative that you use our tutorials. I go through a lot of the troubleshooting issues that you could have. Some of the most common issues are solved right in our videos or in our article here. So it's very, very important that you go through these and use them because if you don't, this video may not help, right? We may have solved it in our actual tutorial here. So if you're not using our tutorial, go ahead and do that. Then come back if you're still having issues, right? Now, the main reason that Forge won't open, and that's assuming Forge won't open after you've downloaded it. So you've went here and you've downloaded Forge from this website here, which is Forge's official download page, and you've downloaded it correctly. So you've clicked the installer and on Add Focus, you've not clicked anything. Don't click anything on this page! We stress this very much so in our Forge tutorials, but I want to stress it here as well. Don't click anything on this page. When you get to this page, just wait. Just sit and listen to my annoying voice while I talk to you about this. And then finally, this red skip button will appear. That's the only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button. And then make sure the file that you're downloading has Forge in the title, which ours does in the bottom left, or it has Forge in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. And then finally, here it is, right? Now, you've found this folder. You've gotten it out of your downloads folder. I'll spare you me finding it in there, but this won't open, right? Maybe it doesn't look like the Java file we have here, or maybe it just won't open at all, right? You right click on it, you click on open with, you don't have Java here, or you do, you click on it and it doesn't open, right? Ours opens, but yours doesn't. What do you do in that case? Well, that's gonna be a pretty simple fix. That's simply getting the correct version of Java, which we have a tutorial for here. It is linked in the description down below, how to get Java for Minecraft, and it goes through how to get Java specifically for Minecraft mods. It's a simple three-step process. At that point, you should be able to right-click on Forge and open it with Java here. However, your logo may still be broken, and if that's the case, you're gonna wanna run the jar fix, and that's gonna make the .jar files on your computer link back to Java. You have to install Java before you run the jar fix, otherwise it won't have anything to link your jar file too, but then once you do that, you'll be easy and good to go there. Now, that's most of the time the issue if Forge won't open. It's simply because you don't have the correct version of Java installed or because you don't have your jar files linked to Java. And luckily, we have two simple tutorials to fix that, and they're linked in the description down below. Now, the next issue you may have with Forge is that you're able to get it open by right-clicking and clicking on Open With. You've made your jar files look like jar files. You're able to get to this point. But whenever you click OK here, it doesn't work. It doesn't actually install Forge. It comes up with an error instead of coming up and saying successful, which is what it will do here. How do you fix that? How do you fix it not coming up and saying successful here instead of it's failing or something like that. By the way, this is perfect for this tutorial because if it freezes right there and it freezes here, don't freak out about it. 
don't watch it when it's doing this. Just log away for a few minutes, come back, and it'll be done. However, if you do log away for a few minutes, come back, and it has failed, what do you do? Well, it's actually so simple of a fix that uh, anyone can do it just very easily. All you do is open up Minecraft, right, like so, the Minecraft launcher here, and play the version of Forge you're wanting to install, but without Forge. So, for example, if it's the latest release, you just click on latest release. In this case, that's 1.16.5, and click play. But if it's for a past version, let's say 1.12.2, you'd click installations up here, click this plus new, you can name this whatever, normally I would name this play.breakdowncraft.com, but since we're already fixing this, let's just name it 1.12.2, and then you want to click on the version here and find version 1.12.2, so we're going to scroll down quite a ways until we find Minecraft version 1.12.2, there it is, release 1.12.2 right there, and then I'm going to change the resolution so we can see better, and then go ahead and click create, now you have this new 1.12.2 version, click play, you know what you're doing. It's okay. I promise. I don't know. I hate that they put this in here. It's it's all right. You're fine. It's literally playing vanilla Minecraft. No mods or anything. Click that. And now it's going to open up. And that'll fix the issue of Forge not being able to install from the installer. Once you have the installer open, Forge is going to install. The only reason it wouldn't is if you've never played the version of Forge that you're trying to install. Or if you played it so long ago or switched computers since you played it. Basically, you have to have played it on your current computer. At this point, once you hit the main menu, you can close out of it and go through that Forge installation again. Right click on Forge, open with, open with Java, OK. And then go ahead and go through the installation. And this time, it'll work, right? It'll actually install and you'll be good to go. Now, obviously it didn't fail for us before, but you get the idea. That's all you gotta do to make it install if it fails installing once the installer is open. Next up is actually after you've installed Forge there, you go into the Minecraft launcher and you can't find it anywhere. You cannot find your Forge profile anywhere. Ours is right here, right? But I can make it disappear really fast. So let's go ahead and do that. If we come over here and we deselect that and then come back over here, our Forge profile, oh, it's still, it's still there. Why are you playing tricks on me, Minecraft launcher? Maybe they changed this. But nevertheless, if we go to our installations tab, it's not here. Forge isn't here. And how do you get it to appear? Well, you click on modded, right? Sometimes it won't even appear here if you have modded. In the past, at least it didn't. There's been a recent update within the past few days, uh, if that's the case now. But Nevertheless, Forge is there. So that's also another little quick tip, it seems. You can click on here and select Forge. Or you can go to Installations and make sure Modded is selected there. If you do, Forge will then appear, right? That's the only reason it's not. It's because you don't have the Modded box checked here. So that's good to know as well. And a little quick, easy troubleshooting method. Now, sometimes even when you enable mods, Forge just messes up. And a lot of times, beta versions of Forge, now we're on a release version of Forge. doesn't happen as much. But sometimes this profile won't create, or it'll be the wrong version. And if that's the case, you want to create a new profile. So to do that, you can go and click the plus new up here and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. This is our amazing Minecraft server. You should totally come play on it. It's got amazing skyblock, amazing survival, the best survival, the best skyblock you ever play. I guarantee it. So come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click this version drop down box. And in here, you want to find the Forge version. In our case, right here it is. Release 1.16.5 Forge. We have multiple ones here, but always go for the one close to the top if you want the most recent version. Unless you want an older version of Forge, like 1.12, and it might be down here at the bottom. But nevertheless, right up here it is for us at the top and we can click on it. If Forge isn't in this version drop-down box, you need to go reinstall it from that file you downloaded. This one right up here. This is Forge installer that we right-clicked, open with, Java, all this stuff. You need to reinstall it with this, and you might even want to re-download that file if it isn't in this version drop-down. Nevertheless, once you've got it selected there, you can go ahead and click create in the bottom right, and you'll get this new profile with Forge under it, and you can play it right like so, and you might need to click you understand the risk and click play. So yeah, that's kind of all you need to do. It went ahead and opened there. I had to take a little breath, but went ahead and opened there, and now as you can see, it's opening up, and we actually have a few mods installed for the purpose of this tutorial. But nevertheless, we have those installed, and it is now opening up right like so. So... That's that, right? That's kind of how you can get Forge open if for whatever reason it's not appearing in your Minecraft launcher, which was our fourth issue on the list. And now we can go ahead and move on to uh, some of the more common issues people have with specific mod versions. So as you can see, our Minecraft is open. If we click on the Mods tab, we have some awesome mods in here. This is because we know they're going to work, and they're all compatible with 1.16.5, which is the version we're running. But what happens if you install a mod that isn't compatible with 1.16.5? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a very old mod, but one of my all-time favorites. That's going to be Tinker's Construct, so just give me one quick second. So here we are with Tinker's Construct, and as you can see, its most recent version is 1.12.2. And if we go to Files, we're not going to find a version newer than for 1.12.2, right? Right there it is, right? Last updated, March 2020. Makes me sad. They say they're working on a new version, but it's been so long. I don't even know at this point. Now, this does ha even have a compatibility mod as well, meaning it needs another mod to work. We're not going to install either of them. I'm just going to show you what happens when you try to open up a 1.12 mod in the newer version, 1.16.5. It's not pretty, so let's go ahead and get this installed real fast. Boom, we've got Tinker's Construct here on our desktop. We're just going to drag and drop that into this mods folder. As you can see, we've got all these mods that we know are working. Right now, we're in Minecraft with all these mods but Tinker's Construct. What's what happens whenever we install it? So I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. I'm going to launch it open with the Forge profile. 
that we have here. As you can see, it says 1.16.5 Dash Forge. Obviously, it's not compatible with Tinker's Construct. And look at what's going to happen, right? Now, newer versions of Forge are nice enough a lot of times to let you know this mod's not compatible. Um, sometimes that's not the case, and they will just crash, though, right? So if this is the case, and it's going to let you know, hey, this mod isn't uh, compatible with um, the newest version of Minecraft, you need to change it, well, then you know what mod to un uninstall. But some of us aren't that lucky with the mods, and if that happens, and you're installing, for example, 10 mods in this case... What do you do? Well, you remove each mod one by one, starting with a little objective reasoning, right? How, you know, you start off with the one that's most likely to not be compatible, and then move on to the next one, and then move on to the next one, and then move on to the next one, so on and so forth, until you've went through all of the mods there. So as you can see, file Tinker's Constructs for an older version of Forge and cannot be loaded, right? So it tells us which one it is. And that's great for 1.16.5 Forge, but 1.12.2 Forge, which is what Tinker's Construct is built on, wouldn't tell you this. It would just not work, right? So in that case, you want to go through each and every individual mod, and if for whatever reason in 1.16.5 you're having an issue, that's what you're going to do as well. So you're going to open your mods folder, you're going to uninstall, like remove all of the mods that are here. We go ahead and replace that file. I'm going to go ahead and remove all these, for example, except Aquaculture. Then we're going to launch it with Aquaculture. Then we're going to add back each mod one by one until we finally hit the one that doesn't work, right? It's time consuming. It's tedious. But that's what you have to do. However, what if you can't even get to your mods folder? A lot of people do struggle with that if uh, you've never had to get to your mods folder without going through Minecraft before. Luckily, it gives us this button here in 16.5, but how do you open it? Well, we have a video in the description down below of how to get to this mods folder without using Minecraft. So it's in the description down below. It's very simple, very easy, and very quick to go through and get that set up, right? So that's kind of how you can basically fix mods that Forge has, right? First and foremost, uninstall all of your mods. If Forge will then open, then reinstall your mods one by one into that mods folder, opening up Forge every single time. It's time consuming, but it's what you got to do until you find the one that's not working, in this case, Tinker's Construct. So now we go ahead, open our mods folder. We remove Tinker's Construct, right like so. Then we have to proceed to the main menu, click on mods, and then as you can see, we are now good. It's not in there, right? Forge has gotten a lot better though. Like I said, older versions of Forge, you'd had to restart Minecraft, all of that stuff. Nevertheless, once you've went all through those mods and figured out which one is the issue, then reach out to the developer and say, hey, why isn't this working? Maybe it is, in the case of Sneakers Construct, just for a very old version. In that case, the mod creator is just going to tell you, hey, we don't support that version. But if it, it does say it supports the newest version, 1.16.5 at the time we're recording this, you might have helped them find some sort of bug or find some incompatibility with another mod or something like that that they'll then be able to fix. So either way you can do that by going to curse forge here which is where most mods are hosted and going to the main page here the description page and then all of these have comments down here at the bottom now sometimes oh, i guess they all don't have comments at the bottom but they'll have some sort of communication usually if it's not comments at the bottom which is it amazes me it's like the first mod i've ever seen that ha doesn't have that but they do have a discord right here and i know you can go on their discord and submit bugs some other mods for example on curse forge if you go to mods will have comments. So if we go to like Bombs of Plenty, I believe they do. They don't. What? This is blowing my mind. But they do as well have a Discord right up here that you can click on and check out to report your bugs. So that's how you want to do. You want to reach out to the mod author, basically. At this point, I'm almost determined to be able to find a... Uh, there we go. This one has comments. So as you can see, directions, then we have comments down here. You can sign up for an account and post a comment to be able to reach out to, to the mod creator. In that case, other ones like Biomes of Plenty want you to reach out on their Discord. So there's that. That's how you can report a bug to a mod author once you've determined which one does have the bug. Now, moving on from there, our next issue is going to be what if Minecraft crashes while you're playing with mods? You've got these mods installed, you're jumping into single player, you're playing, you're having a ton of fun, all of that stuff, but then Minecraft crashes. Well, in that case, it's probably a RAM issue, right? You're going to need to add more RAM to Minecraft and... Honestly, you could go ahead and check your hardware usage. So to do that, you want to go ahead and like click on the Windows bar. I don't know what this is called. For me, it's at the very, very top. For you, it's probably at the bottom of your screen. But that little Windows bar with the apps and the little Windows icon and all that, right-click on it and then click on Task Manager. Then in here, you're going to be able to see all your processes and specifically the RAM you're using. As you can see, Minecraft has all this RAM. You can actually sort this if you click on it and see what on your computer is using the most RAM, right? As you can see, Minecraft by a long shot. So nevertheless, you can go in here and do that if you want. And then once you've got that set up, you've got that scene, you can see if RAM and memory on Minecraft is maxing out. In this case, we're using about 2,500 megabytes or 2.5 gigabytes of RAM just sitting on the main menu. So you can easily eat up quite a bit of RAM. And if you are running out of RAM in Minecraft, you can add more using the link in the description down below. And the reason I link to that is because we go to 
a lot of depth as to how much RAM you can actually add to Minecraft depending on your computer and everyone's computer is a little different and we show you how to decide how much RAM to add for your computer in that dedicated video. Again, I do want to mention that if you are having issues with a specific mod, don't be afraid to reach out to that developer. Some developers can be a little rude if you do have issues installing their mod. I'm going to say that up front, but there are many, many others in the community that are so nice and so helpful and so understanding, or they've built communities around their mods that are willing to help you out as well. Maybe you're missing a compatibility mod. For example, Tinker's Construct, which we installed earlier, actually requires a little mod called Mantle right here, right? So this is actually required for Tinker's Construct, and, you know, it's something you wouldn't know unless you knew about the mod and all that stuff, right? So nevertheless, that is something that I do want to recommend. Don't be afraid to reach out to mod authors. Don't be afraid to join these discords and ask for help. Usually they're very, very nice. And those that aren't, hey, maybe you don't even want to use that mod at all because the developer wasn't that nice to you. But that is something that I do want to mention here that sometimes you do need to lean on a developer to get some help. I've had to do it. We've all had to do it. So don't be afraid to do it. And then last but not least, the thing that I want to mention is versions. This can get a little complicated because not only should you make sure the mod versions are compatible, I mentioned this earlier, installing a 1.12.2 mod in 1.16.5 is going to cause some issues when you open up Minecraft. Installing a 1.16.5 mod on 1.12.2 Forge is going to cause issues as well. But then we have to take it one step further. Um, if you go to Forge and their official website, right, so if we go to Forge's official website here, we'll be able to see there are versions. 36.1.0, for example. And then if you want to go ahead and show all versions, these are all different iterations of Forge that have had different changes in them. And some mods might not be compatible with the most recent one. You may have to go back a while. And it can be a little annoying when you're using a 1.16.5 mod, using a 1.16.5 Forge, and it's still not working. And that's most likely because of the version here. Now, something that is worth showing you is Optifine because Optifine actually lists the Forge version they recommend using. Now, that doesn't mean it won't be compatible with other Forge versions, but that's the one they recommend using for Optifine. That's the one they've tested with. This goes back all the way, by the way, you go ahead and click on, you know, plus more, it goes to the next version there, show all, it shows you all the Forge versions, it's compatible, all the way back down to here, right? So that is something to think about, that is something you want to, you know, use, by the way, on Forge, if uh, or on Optifine, if there's no version listed, it's not Forge compatible. So, again, Optifine, I know for a fact, actually, works on this most recent version here, but they only support on their website and they tell you this version. Not all mods are going to do this, but it can be very helpful if they do. And it is something to think about when you're running a bunch of mods together. Make sure that they are compatible with the most recent version of Forge or whatever version of Forge that you're using. That is another layer of complexity into it. And that could be a reason why a mod that is 1.16.5 compatible is not working with 1.16.5 Forge. It may not be compatible with the most recent version of Forge. You may have to go back a ways to get them. And you can do that right here, right? It's kind of easy to do that. Just hit show all versions and you can see older versions. But there is that. I do want to, I did want to mention that there it is a more advanced method, but yeah, that's that. So at this point, I hope you now know how to get Forge mods and how to fix any mod issues you may have with Minecraft. There are so many different ones. We made almost a 20 minute video going through them all here. This is just scratching the surface. There are so many unique individualized errors people can get. Unfortunately, we can't cover all of those. However, for those of you that are experiencing an error that isn't mentioned here, Maybe lean on the mod developer. Go ask them, what is this issue? Go figure out on Discord. You know, reach out to the Discord of that mod and see what's up. Go and ask in the comments. Someone may be able to help you out. Even if we can't, someone else might be able to. But I do recommend trying everything in this video. Specifically, you'll be surprised how many errors and issues are fixed by installing Java and running the jar fix with mods. These two were first because they are very, very, very good at fixing mod issues. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy your Minecraft mods. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.